like that. Oh my god. What's going on guys? Before I start this video, I'd just like to say the quality, because it was nighttime, is not like the absolute best and I apologize for that. You know, this is like a last minute planned trip, so we're going to do a little bit of night fishing and um, I wasn't really prepared for the right light sources for that, so I was actually strapping my phone onto my chest cam so it's not the best footage. But I did want to show you guys this footage because it's pretty bizarre on how these fish were acting, how these fish were fighting, so I really wanted to show you guys this. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. But let's go ahead and get it started. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm actually out here. It's been raining. It's been nasty outside. And we're going somewhere new today. Hopefully we're going to catch a lot of fish. I don't want to hold you guys too long, but let's go ahead and get this started. Hopefully we're just going to absolutely demolish them. It's been thunderstorming all day, but it's actually, you know, it's, it's a little bit better now. So hopefully we're going to go out there and smack them. Be sure to drop a like on this video and comment below if you like these style of videos. Let's go ahead and get it started. Crazy. First cast. <laughs> Jesus. That's crazy. I wonder how many are stacked up in there. That's shallow on that bank. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Dude, you both ripped the rod out of my hand. Jesus Christ, dude. That's a decent one, too. Look at that thing. Look. <laughs> Look at that. Look how he ate it. Look at that. That's how they... Is that a decent one from out here? Yeah. Look at that. That's a pretty fish. That's not a bad one at all. That's two and a half pounder. Ugh. These are some big houses, man. Oh, my phone fell in. He came off. Was... Jesus, dude, he it was right when it hit the water. I didn't even. I took the rod out of my hand. Did you? Yeah, they're up on that bank. Dude, it was right when my bait hit the... I thought it was like... I didn't know what I was on. Because you know those little things... I mean, you're feeling something on the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's like a little... It feels like little rocks, kind of. Like that. Oh, my God. Dude, what? Why are these fish so strong? I want you to know, dude. <laughs> I want you to know that fish felt like he was 10 pounds. I never felt anything like that. <laughs> Jesus. There you go, guys. <laughs> that was literally the strongest fish I think I've ever hooked into. Did you hear him run? <laughs> that is awesome. That was awesome. No water. Dude, those are the strongest fish I've ever hooked into. <laughs> that is crazy. So guys, that is all the footage that I actually get. You know, we got out there, it's been thunderstorming all day and we decided to um, go out after it was thunderstorming and there really wasn't that much time left. And so, we wanted to go out there and at least catch a few fish. I've never been fishing there, so I was kind of excited to go out there and see um, what we could put together. And it's just insane. I I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like I I've fished so many different lakes. I've you know I fish for my main like lake is Lake Lanier. And I fish for spotted bass. You know I've been up in Canada. I fish for some smallmouth. I'm not gonna lie, those largemouth 
Nevertheless, I said largemouth in that pond right there were more aggressive than any fish I've ever caught. When I mean hitting the bait, it was like a freight train just like nailed that bait. It was absolutely insane and it really blew my mind. Like I've never like fished for any fish, especially in a pond and especially largemouth that were just that aggressive. Like that fish that I caught on the crawl, when I hook set, I literally thought I had a double digit arm. Like, I've never just felt fish like that. And when they hit it, it's just like they knock it. And then when you hook set, it's like they're just tugging. And it's just amazing. I, I'm, let me know below if you guys have been at any ponds where the fish are just overly aggressive. Like, overly aggressive and very powerful. Because those fish, I feel like they're just competing so much with one another to get the bait. And they're just so aggressive. Like, that uh, decent fish that I caught, I mean, he took that spinnerbait all the way down in his throat. And I uh, just had the blade sticking right up outside of his nose. Like, absolutely amazing. That is just insane. But uh, definitely more videos to come from that place. And hopefully I can um, figure out some challenges I could do there. Or we could actually, you know, film like a Lucky Tackle Box video uh, challenge there. I think that would be really good. But leave some video ideas below if you guys want to suggest that. But overall, today's Monday. You guys are watching this on Tuesday. I actually have a tournament on Lake Lanier. It's the first college tournament, and it is on Lake Lanier. It's the state championship. And I'm uh, very pumped about it, very excited. I'm actually going to be leaving tomorrow to head towards Lake Lanier. I'm going to be documenting this whole tournament. I'm very excited to bring that to you guys because I'm going to really focus on, you know, a lot of film, a lot of film, a lot of film. Lanier is very, very tough right now. And um, so anyone can really win it. It's going to be a two-day event, Friday, Saturday, and I'm very pumped, very pumped and very excited to bring you guys this content. I just want to go out there and I just want to have fun. You know, how I preach so much about, you know, be the best that you can be in everything. and everything. I'm going to go out there, you know, I'm going to try my best and give it my all, and I'm definitely going to be taking the camera with me and filming as much as possible. I want to film as much content this year as possible during the tournaments because I know you guys love the tournament videos, but not only do you love the tournament videos, you love me just when I document them. And I really want to just bring the tournaments to reality. And like, I want to see you guys like visualizing as you're there with me. And I'm so pumped about this season because, you know, if I do horrible in a tournament, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm going to be documenting it. I'm going to be posting it because that's just reality, guys. You, you won't do good in every single thing, every single time. You know, what makes you the best and what makes you the greatest of all time is failure because you learn from your failure. And I'm going to show you guys my failure. Like when I fail and when I hit rock bottom and when I do bad versus, you know, I'm going to show you when I do good versus when I do bad. And I'm going to show you all around because that's just reality. You know, everything's cut up on videos to where they only shows the good. But why not show the bad so it shows the learning process? Because we all go through it. We can all relate to it. And I'm not trying to impress anyone on here. You know, I'm, I'm simply documenting my journey through my business in the fishing industry, enjoying every single moment of it, trying to jump and uh, push positivity and push greatness towards y'all because I want to make this world a better place and just make everyone around us like, it's just, I have so many, so many dreams like that I want to make come true and um, it all starts with this, you know, it's just my passion for the sport, I just love filming it, I love documenting it. And it's just amazing. It's just absolutely amazing. And I can't thank you guys enough for the support. Like, it's just awesome. But I'm going to be documenting all these tournaments this year. And um, it's going to be great. A lot of detail. Leave comments below on, like, ideas that you guys have because I want to take them in consideration. You know, usually when I'm in this tournament, I'm, like, 100% focused on that tournament. And I'm going to be 100% focused, but at the same time, I'm going to be sure and make sure I video. Man, if I have zero fish by 2 o'clock, you know, maybe just quick like there's no excuse like I can strap the camera on while I'm like getting the boat up on plane and just a little update you know um, anything but I have so many ideas guys and I just hope you guys are all doing great today's Monday motivational Monday I love you know to speak about that especially on Instagram I just hope everybody's doing good I hope everyone's trying to strive to be the best that they can be at everything that they're doing um, everything this week you know grades everything for me have been amazing Put a lot of hours in on schoolwork, especially yesterday, and just been grinding every single day, guys, you know, nonstop. And uh, it's like 11 o'clock right now, filming this end of this video because I actually went to the gym and was handling some other things after I got off the pond. And I just hope everyone's doing great right now. 
I hope everybody's striving to be the best because I really love to promote that. Uh, I really just truly believe that's the key to success is just being the best that you can be and just really believing in yourself and pushing positivity throughout the world. I think that's very important. But overall, guys, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Everything that you guys do, you know, liking my content, watching my content, spreading the word about my channel, that really means a lot to me and deep down in my heart. Thank you guys so much. But overall, stay tuned for the new videos coming up this week. I'm going to be documenting a lot for this tournament. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment below, and subscribe and hit the little bell. I love you guys so much. Peace out. I think that 24-7 an understatement to my day-to-day. -day. If ain't no way, then I'ma make a way. Yeah. Nigga said, said,